Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 17 iPad OS tricks that you probably didn't even know existed. These are new tricks that have been added to iPad OS 13. Now with iPad OS 13, of course, Apple is trying to make a difference between iOS and iPad OS. So here are 17 tricks that can be found on iPad OS 13 that will, of course, make your experience using your iPad on iPad OS 13 way better. So let's get started with the first one. So if you're within an app and you receive a notification just like this one, you can go ahead and tap and hold that notification and you can drag it down. Now you can turn that notification into a card. So, you know, with iPad OS 13, now we have these cards that basically act just like the app cards on iOS. So you can turn a notification into a card. And then of course you can continue working on that app directly from here and manage that notification, whatever you get there. And of course you can even turn it into like a side here. So you can turn it into a split view. Just basically go ahead and drag it from the notification. You can drag it here and just have two apps, the app from the notification and the app that you were using both here on the split screen. With iPad OS 13, Apple has added a ton of new features to Safari. So basically Safari and the Files app got the most new features out of all the other apps with iPad OS 13 and iOS 13 as well. Here on Safari on iPad OS 13, you can go to the full screen mode just by swiping here at the top. So just swipe there at the bar, swipe up and you will have the ability to browse Safari on this full screen mode. Now you wanna go back to the old to the normal mode just go ahead and swipe once more right there and it will show you the bar again so swipe up to go to the full screen mode swipe up to get out of the full screen mode on ipad os 13 now you can have two of the same apps open so for example you can have two safaris here on the split view so you can have one here and one here and what you can do here within safari if you have like two or more tabs and you want to turn one of the tabs into an app so you want to turn it into the split view you can just go ahead tap and drag that and then from here you can just go ahead and just slide it over here and you can turn that into the split view so right here you can see i have safari here and i have safari here so basically you can turn a tab into the app here on the split view and then of course you will have another feature right here which is another like hidden trick of ipad os 13 whenever you're on the split view and you want to turn the split view the app that you have on one side into a card an app card that's a new feature on ipad os 13 you can just tap right there and you can drag it down like this and then just place it here so you will turn the split view into a card right here on iPad OS 13, there's a really easy trick to bookmark any website that you have open here on any tabs. Now, of course, you can go to the share menu and do the old way, but there is a trick to do it even faster. Just go ahead, tap on the tab and then just drag it, tap the plus button and you can go ahead and simply drag it and place it right here. And as easy as that, you can go ahead and bookmark any websites that you have opened on any of the tabs on Safari on iPad OS 13. On iPad OS 13, Apple has added link previews. Now this is a new feature that allows you to easily preview any link on any of the apps on iPad OS 13. So whether you're on the notes app or an iMessage and you get a link, you can just go ahead and 3D touch on that link and you will see a preview of that website. And here on the right side, you will see, you will have the 3D touch menu where you can open the link at a reading list or copy the link or go to the share menu. This is really, really useful. So you don't need to basically open Safari and go to the link. You can just preview it from any app. And of course you can go ahead and open that link in Safari. But what if you're on the notes here and you don't wanna go out of the notes, you wanna have that link open here. So you don't wanna to go to Safari. What you can do, this is a new trick as well. Just tap and hold the link, just drag it and you can just go ahead and drag the link right there and you can put it here on the split view. So you can open the link right here on the split view without having to leave the notes app. That's really, really useful. So as you can see right there with iPad OS 13, you will have a bunch of options when opening apps. You can have the same app opened on the split view. You can have the app on the card. You can have basically the app opened anywhere you want. And you can open the same app in two places or more. And that is a new feature that iPad OS 13 has to offer. It's called 
app exposed. So I'm on Safari here and I want to see where I have Safari open all the different like windows where Safari is open. All I got to do is just bring up the dock, tap the Safari icon and you can see here it will show me all the places where I have Safari open. So you can see four of them right there. And if I want to open even more, I will have that plus button right there at the top right side. So this is App Exposed, a new trick to show you all the different windows where you have that, that same app open. Just bring up the dock, tap on the icon of the app. Now something really, really interesting that I found out is that even if you have two apps open on the split view, you can still go ahead and add another card. So you'll have basically three apps open at the same time. So here, if I open the dock, you can see I can drag Safari here and I will have the ability to put it right here. But if I release the finger now, it will just replace that Safari there. If I go here, you can see that little shadow right there, it will replace the notes. But if you want to add this as a card, what you will have to do is just place it right here in the middle. You will see how that preview will, will become a little bit smaller. Now just release it and you will have here another card of that app. So you can see basically at this time I have three apps opened at the same time. As you can see right there, you could have the same app on iPad OS 13 open in multiple windows. But here, if I have Safari open on multiple windows and I'm on the Notes app, if I want to play Safari here on the split view, you will see that now it will give me the option to choose which of the windows where I have Safari opened, I want to open here. Because I have so many of them open at the same time, iPad won't decide which one of them it will put on the slide on the side here, but it will ask me which one of them I want to open. So here I have like four different windows of Safari open and I can choose which one of them I want to put here. And I can also go ahead and close any one of them. So just take a look at them and close any one that I don't want to have open anymore. And then of course just tab the one that I want and I can have it open here on the split view. Again, having the same app open in multiple windows is a very useful feature. But what if you want to put them all in one place? Well, with iPad OS 13, you can easily do that. So just open, for example, Safari and just tap right there the tabs. And then you will have here the option to merge all the windows. So you can see right here, I have just one tab open. If I tap merge all the windows, you can see it will basically put all the tabs that I had open on other windows right here on the same one. On Safari, on iPad OS 13, as I said at the beginning, we have a ton of cool new features. So right here you can see I have three different tabs open. I'm here on the Apple website and I have another one with the Apple website and my channel right there. So from this tab, if I don't want to use those anymore, I can go ahead and tap and hold the X button and it will show me a menu from where I can go ahead and easily close all the other tabs. So you can see just like that, you can close all the tabs that you have open in the background and just leave the current one opened right here. There are a ton of new features on the Notes app as well. So if you open a folder of Notes, you will see a list of all your Notes right there. But if you drag down, then it will show the search bar and it will show these little squares right there. Now, if you tap there, it will go to this very, very cool gallery view where you can also see previews of all the notes that you have. And you can also go ahead and drag that slider, which will make the previews way bigger. So now you can see what's inside of that note. And this menu also will allow you to basically rearrange your notes. You can do that based on the edited time, created, date created, or on the title of the notes. On the mail app or other apps as well, like iMessage, for example, where you will have a list of messages or here a list of emails, I can easily go ahead and select these simply by putting two fingers on the screen just like that and just drag down and you will see it will go ahead and just select any one of them as easy as that. So you will see just drag with two fingers, drag down to select. You can see I can drag up right there to unselect any one of them and then of course I will have my options right there at the bottom. With the new mail app on iPad OS 13 you will have a bunch of cool options to customize the fonts of your email. So just tap 
right there those two letters and then you will have here the format from the color to different fonts you can go ahead and basically customize format the text any way you like if you go here to the default font you will see here a bunch of cool fonts that you can use on your emails and of course customize your emails make them look a bit cooler so you will see here a ton a ton of different fonts that you can use on your emails you can see that how cool is that right there so you can basically just choose any font you want and apply them to your new emails on the files app on ipad os 13 there is a hidden menu so when you go to one of the folders here i'm on the icloud drive i can just go ahead and drag down like this and from here it will show me a few options so basically if you just go ahead and open one of the folders it will show you just like this page right here it won't show that menu which basically is hidden so just drag down and you will see that menu now from here you can also create new folders as easy as that but what i will talk about here is the view of the folders so right there you will have the gallery view then we will have this new list view and you will have this other one as well so you will see like different views right there for your folders and of course you can choose the one that you like the most and here is a secret menu as well which will allow you to rearrange your folders you can do that based on the name of the folders or you can do that based on the date created the size the kind or the text the tags right there so you will see different options which allow you to basically rearrange your folders any way you like on the files app so that's basically it for this video guys these are 17 hidden tricks that you can find on ipad os 13 that probably most of you guys didn't even know existed i hope you guys learned some new tricks for your ipad right here on this video these are some really really cool tricks most of them are very useful as well and of course will make your everyday experience using your ipad way way better so that's pretty much it for this video guys don't forget to subscribe for more ipad os videos so i will be doing a ton of more videos on new ipad tricks and the new features and of course the new ipad os updates that will come really really soon so that's pretty much it don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this i will see you guys on the next one